All right, hang tight. It's time to launch into space. And behold, this brilliant view of our pale blue dot from the International Space Station. Oh my gosh, it's an incredible view. This time lapse captured by astronaut and Oregon native Don Pettit, who's about to return from space this weekend. And he's joining us live this morning from the ISS right now. Don, good morning. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Travis. How are you folks doing there in good old Oregon? Oh I'm feeling very gosh. weighted down by gravity. Yeah, I am really feeling, feeling it at the moment. Feeling a little heavier than you these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, Don, this is your fourth trip into space, so tell us about your current mission and uh, what it has been like. Um, this mission is all about what space station was built and designed for it's about doing scientific research it's about doing engineering research and station is really a hopping place working in all kinds of scientific fields from biology to human research to uh, uh, physical sciences combustion uh, metal, uh, metallurgical processing. Uh, it, this is a hopping place in terms of scientific research. Wow. What, what has it been like to, to spend six months on the ISS? You've been there since last September. What, what has this experience been like? Uh, it, time flies so fast, especially when you're having fun and, and working hard. And it's, it, it's amazing how quick six months goes by actually more like seven uh it, it it's just a flash in the pan Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is closer to seven months at this point. Well, you know, it's been really cool to, to have an Oregon native representing Absolutely. the Beaver State uh, up on the ISS. And we always love shouting you out every time we get to see some of your incredible your photography videos. Is... Yeah, and photography from the station. What are some of your more memorable moments during this mission that you'd like to highlight? Well, uh, there's several facets to uh, memorable moments. One is with your crew. And I've had three different crews come traipsing through during uh, the seven months. And all of these crews, we end up having these belly shaking, guttural laughing phases <laughs> where we're just having fun in our off duty mm -hmm. moments. And then you have quiet time when you're by yourself, uh, maybe looking out a window, looking at Earth, looking at the cosmos and contemplating such philosophical things as uh, where do I fit in this picture? I, I can't even imagine. We have that moment here on Earth when you look up at the stars on a clear night, you yeah. know, let alone being up amongst the stars and looking back at Earth. That is that is something else. What What is something that has stood out to you? I mean, we were showing some clips earlier this morning of you spinning your camera, you know, in zero gravity. What are some of the uh, kind of quirky zero gravity uh, things that you've been doing up there to keep your keep your um, entertainment levels going up in space? Well, we, we've got the programmatic research, which is all based off of making observations in microgravity. And, and some of the coolest stuff occurs in our furnaces where you're looking at flame fronts burning both solids and gas phase flames, and they burn differently in the absence of gravity. No buoyancy driven convection to, to move the air around. And then uh, there's another furnace uh, that does containerless processing. So you, you melt a sample where it's floating in the furnace, where it's not touching any pre-existing solid, which can induce certain crystal habits into the material. So uh, these, these are fascinating uh, programmatic aspects of science. And then uh, because we are here and, and we can, uh, you can uh, look at your own uh, level of uh, scientific investigation in terms of uh, surface tension, water blobs, uh, things like that.
Wow. Well, Don, it's interesting. You have been on the space station at a time when it's been making lots of news. Uh, you know, we just saw the return of astronauts Sonny Williams mm -hmm. and Butch Wilmore. Butch Wilmore. Give us some insight into uh, what time was like with their unexpectedly extended stay. <laughs> were, were spirits high on the ISS? Uh, well, you have to remember that space is a frontier. It's a wilderness. And when you go into a wilderness, you, you know, things don't run like clockwork. And you can't, can't, you can't count on a train schedule to be on time. Hmm. So when you go to uh, space, you, you have to accommodate the fact that this is, this is not going on a, on a, a tour on a, on a cruise ship this is this is something where you're going where human uh, uh physiological uh entities were not innately made to meant to be and we need to take machines here to keep us alive and move us around and and do meaningful things so it truly is exploring a frontier and that doesn't work on a normal clock Sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I know we got to let you go here, but I, before we do, I, I have to ask, what are you looking forward to when you, when you get back down to Earth? What is that, what is that first thing you're going to do? Okay, well, the very first thing I'm going to do when I get to Earth will probably be empty the contents of my stomach <laughs> uh, 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 out the way it wasn't meant to go. Oh. <laughs> and, and I, I see that. Uh, all that training, I, I, all that training that. couldn't prepare you for that no. re-entry. <laughs> uh, this is a physiological thing that affects different people different ways. Some people can land and go out, uh, eat pizza and dance. And when I land, uh, uh, it takes me about 24 hours to uh, feel like I'm a human being again. Oh but in spite of that, I, I think your question was oh a little gosh. a little more meaningful than, than, uh, than hearing about that. Uh, of course, you want to see your family and your loved ones. But the thing I miss most from Earth that we do not have up here, and that's running water, a sink, and a drain. Oh. And you think about it, none of that stuff works up here because it requires gravity and the implications, you can't even wash your hands. You can't take a bath. Right. You can't take a shower. If something gets really dirty, right. you can't take it in the backyard and hose it off with a garden hose. Uh, you, it, the, the whole aspect of how do you clean up a mess and how you clean yourself up in a weightless environment, uh, it all hinges around. You don't have running water. You don't have a sink. You don't have a drain. And I'm really going to enjoy uh, these three fades when I come back to Earth. Wow, that yeah, you've got a, a hot shower coming your yes, way, Don. Yes, well deserved. I have to ask, I know we're out of time, I'm never going to get this opportunity again, though. Is there freeze-dried ice cream on the ISS, and do you enjoy eating it as much as I did when I was a kid? Okay, uh, what I've heard is the freeze-dried ice cream was only flown on a couple of shuttle missions, and it's no longer on any of the 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 flight menu items <laughs> and the reason i was told is is that 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 freeze-dried ice cream when you bite into it makes hundreds of little tiny crumbs oh. and in weightlessness they float all over and ice cream quickly absorbs water and it turns back into melted ice cream and oh then it gosh. sticks all over the wall and everything and it makes a mess. Oh wow. my gosh, Don, it has been so great to <laughs> talk to you. That's not ice cream. <laughs> Millions of tiny crumbs, both for the space station and in the back of my mom's car. Oh, so I understand man. that. <laughs> uh, safe travels home. Thank yes. you so much for the time. It has been so great to chat with you and uh, what a thrill. What a thrill up in space. That is so cool. Don, thanks so much. Oh, so cool. Don, thanks so much. <laughs> bye, bye, Don. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's just incredible. Of course, we're going to be following Don Pettit's return back to Earth as his mission ends a little later this week. If you would like to see more of
of his stunning sights from space. You can follow him on uh, X, formerly Twitter, and Instagram. That is so cool. All the